Greetings everyone. Today's video we will be talking about outbound routes and the outbound dial patterns specifically for each trunk for each carrier. One of the biggest things you're going to have to understand is how the dial pattern actually works and how they're actually matching before actually hitting the desired trunk. For this example, we will set the account to where you do not have to dial a 1 even though the carrier requires one or a country code to dial out. They do have already have this installed under the dial pattern wizards local 710 digit dialing also with long distance. Now with long distance it will automatically match off with the one in front. So if you dial one and ten digits from there it will go to the trunk desire. Now Let's say you don't really want to dial the 1, you just want to dial just the 10 digits. Just take out the 1 here and add prepend there. So that when you're dialing 10 digits, it will automatically add the 1 and then route the call out to the carrier. Now let's say you have special routing. You want, let's say, a certain group to dial 9 or 8 to hit a certain trunk. Quite simple actually. Let's say a person wants to dial a 9 and 10 digits. Let's take a 9 here. What that does is they dial 9, let's say 9678460 What will actually route from the carrier will be matching the 9, stripping off the 9, adding the 1 and the 10 digits. So in this case, when you dial the 9, it will automatically add the 1, add the rest of the digits, and route to the carrier. You can also do this with different routing. You can set up many different special routes in here. For an example, let's name this one. So you're going to name that one 9 outside. So anybody in the company or that's actually talking directly to your PBX here, they will have to dial 9 and the number without the 1, it will automatically add the 1. Or let's say you want them to still, if they accidentally dial the 9 and the 1, we can always put in the other prefix or match pattern. So now if they dial the 9 and the 1, it will still go out, or if they dial just a 9 and the number, it will still go out accordingly to the carrier. I'm going to submit changes. Okay, now let's set up a international routing. Now it, you really have to understand the way your carrier wants to call. Some uh, carriers might require you to send them the 011 to their server so they can decide for the international or you could just send them just a country code and to make it universal for anybody that's calling through your PBX they normally would dial just a 011 so in this case if anybody who dials 011 I think I already have a yeah if anybody who's dialing 011 would take the 011, strip that off, then just send the country code and the number. Now definitely look through a lot of these dial pattern wizards. They have many different uh, presets that might be very, very important for you, like international. They automatically put in a few of those, as you can see here, the 011. So in this case, if they actually need the 011, it'll match that and send everything. But some providers might not need the 011 sent to them, as long as you send it the country code. So you definitely want to get in touch with your carrier just to make sure how they want the calls routed. You can also do information. You can also do 911 as well. And some carriers will allow 911. It really depends on uh, you contacting your carrier just to make sure that they do allow these services. And that was it for this video, guys. Like I said, if you have any questions,
questions or comments on this video, be sure to like and subscribe this video and get uh, get in contact with us if you have any questions. Until then, I will see you guys next week.